How's it going guys? I'm Connor from LNB and I'm back with something a little bit different. It's been a pretty long time since I made that last video. School started, uh, Nick and William went off to college so it's just me now and I'm gonna start doing a little bit more different stuff instead of kind of just NBA news. I'm gonna be playing some NBA 2K18 once that comes out but until that comes out I'll be playing some NBA Live. I'll be playing some of the, the 5v5 online like the pro-am kind of from 2k and i'll be doing collaborations with other youtubers on 2k and probably on live until 2k does come out whenever 2k comes out i'll do a my team little series and i'll also do a my career and i'll, I'll even play some my park maybe some pro-am too if if y'all would want to see that i've been playing this nba live i've been playing like the demo that they came out with it's was, it was free to download on pc ps4 and xbox one uh it's pretty cool you start off as a high schooler you don't get to play any games but you get an injury and you have to play games in like uh the drew league and the jamal crawford league and it's pretty cool uh most people who play this and put it out on youtube do either really good ball handlers and shooters or really good dunkers that's not really my play style I do straight big man and paint protector you can see in pretty much all my videos what I'm gonna do is I don't shoot and I don't do crazy dribble moves but I lock down the paint that's my job and that's a lot of problems with people in the games like whenever you play online because they don't accept their role they try and be a seven foot two center taking the ball up the court so some things that I do like about NBA Live is the my career is really cool. Or not like the uh, the upgrade system that they use. You just get like attribute points for leveling up, and you can use that for specific types of upgrades. Like you can upgrade your dunk, you can upgrade your rebound, you can upgrade your interior defense, and you unlock like shoes, animations, and all that while upgrading the your player. And you get to choose like your two main things and you get to choose like a like a third thing that your player can be really good at like I chose it was uh, rebounding and blocks for my main two things because I chose a lockdown defender and my third one I decided to be dunks because I kind of did want like a little bit of flashiness want to be able to finish down low I didn't want to have to have my layups blocked every single time like two past two K's have been but one problem I do have is the game doesn't really feel fluid I've played 2k I've played every single 2k since like 2k 8 and this one feels like it's a really old 2k just, just gameplay wise if it was if it was better gameplay and the same kind of story and attribute upgrade I would play to I'd play live and not even bother with 2k but since 2k just the gameplay feels more real then I, I kind of have to play 2k instead of this the graphics are really good I do enjoy the graphics. I mean, they're not the same as 2K, but it's kind of hard to tell which ones are better. I, I really don't like some of the animations that are in the game. Like, rebounding is kind of hard to do. I'll get I'll box somebody out, and they'll kind of jump for it at the same time I do, and I'll be much taller, and they'll kind of grab it under me. And I'm kind of trying to figure out why that's happening. The block animations are really weird, too. You have to, like, time it up to when they're about to jump, and it triggers an animation that allows you to block it pretty much every time if you get the timing right, which I don't like. Because I'll be late to a, like a six foot point guard shot. I'll be a little bit late and it'll be in midair. And my handle will go like right through it and it just won't let it block the shot. So that's one problem I do have. Uh, I don't know what the my team will be like on NBA Live. I'm a huge my team person for uh, all the basketball games. I'll play more my team than I'll play any other game mode combined. And I don't really play like a uh, like a buying a whole bunch of packs and pack openings, spending a whole bunch of money. I do like a, like a budget series pretty much. I see what I can do, how far I can go without spending any money. Like last year I spent zero dollars at all on the game and ended up prestiging two times in the online mode. But then after a while I would lose like five games in a row after winning them and they would quit and then give me the loss so I just I just couldn't play 2k anymore this was the first 2k that I just couldn't play until the next 2k came out I had a problem with this because 2k 16 I could play for a really long time I played it until 2k 17 came out 
but 2K17, just the my team, I was done with everything but the my team online, and I just couldn't get past it because I would win and give me a loss for it. So there was really no point in even trying to. I had all diamonds. I mean, my team was a 99 overall, which isn't that really that hard for my team. And it, it was just, just got completely, I lost all motivation to even try and make my team better. So as you can see here, I'm playing just some 5v5 uh, on at the Drew League, which is just one of the courts that you can play out for the 5v5. And you can see I'm swatting shots all over the place. I'm getting dunks. Um, I'm locking down that paint, which is exactly what I built this player to do. And I'm not even that high of a level yet. The only thing that my guy's not really good at is finishing down low. You can see I miss a whole bunch of layups. And if you kind of watch, the dunk animations look just weird. They don't look like they're actual dunks. It looks like it looks like it's more of an animation than it's trying to be realistic. Which I'm, I'm fine with that, but I was also fine with that in NBA 2K13, and that I made a athletic point guard who would just get in animations and couldn't be blocked. Which I don't want this to be, considering it's five years later. They shouldn't be having the same problem with a game that was made five years before. So that's just that's just one thing. I don't know what the uh, the shooting mechanics are like because, as I said before, I'm not really a shooter in 2K. I play, really, I play all of my offense, whether it be play now or my team through a pick and roll. Not like a not like a cheesy pick and roll where it's you try and set five screens until you get them to fall down, and then you go. It's you set the screen, make sure it's a solid screen, and you, and then you read that. Which not many people do. That's why I hate playing my park. Because you'll have a point guard with really quick handles with two big with two stretch bigs setting screens and just waiting for you to fall down off that screen and then they'll get an automatic score. So the my park I really didn't like this year. Not one of my favorites. I did really like the uh, kind of the loot box system in this game though. I felt like I got way too much money in the game. I ended up with like I have like 50,000 credits right now, and I don't really want to buy any of the crates because the only things there are like white t-shirts, which you can tell by my guy. I'm not really decked out in anything. I just have a generic Celtic sweatshirt. See the play of the game right here. That's it for this video. I'll be definitely getting some more of this out there. Hopefully some live commentary soon instead of just me voicing over. But that'll be it for now. See ya.